Hi friends, welcome back to Lost Without a Plan. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are setting up my Hobonichi A6 planner for journaling. So let's get started. Okay, um, it seems I have misplaced some of my footage here. So we are starting a little bit in the middle, but I have this beautiful sticker here from She Plans that I am placing on top. I just thought that the little planner matched my Hobonichi's styling so well with its little black cover and this little uh, logo on top. Um, I'm also going to be using this vinyl sticker here from Coffee Monsters Co. It's her travel vinyl. I do plan on traveling quite a bit this year and so I am really excited to make this uh, a journal that travels with me and that I can take everywhere I go to mark off all the fun memories that I make. Um, now we need to freeze for a moment. This page here is a printable that I picked up from Coffee Monsters Co. as well. It's a decorative page that you could just print and cut and I did that and I placed it in here but um, I had planned on making it a cover for this booklet on the outside but then I think I bought the wrong paper because it ended up all over my hands like coming off like newspaper used to and so anyways I put it on the inside but I don't plan on like touching it very much so that's why it's only on the inside front cover. <laughs> now back to the setup. I am going to be using my handwritten names from Alicia Michelle XO along with the sticker right here from um, Coffee Monsters Co. It's like a nameplate. Perfect. Um, so I'm just going to lay this in here. The very next thing I want to show you is the stickers up top. They are from Alicia Michelle XO as well. They are um, the Enneagram six and I am a six and these are some very fun sayings that kind of have to do with the six. I think I'm a six wing seven, but I mostly am a six <laughs> like through and through. Um, anyways, so I'm going to use this sticker right here that says small steps every day. And I think that that's a great word for my daily journal. Then I'm going to jump into this uh, perpetual calendar. I am not really sure what I'm going to be using this for, but I did choose this set of stickers here because I am going to be using these tabs from Coffee Monsters Co. and the font kind of went along with the typeset. I wanted to keep it a little consistent in style. Um, as you can see, this journal here starts in December, so there's one extra month. I'm really not sure what I want to track here yet. Um, but I knew that since it was for months that I would need the month header at the top. I'm also going to be using this to track my books, um, but I think I'm going to use the monthly pages for my reading log the way that I did in my Moxie journal last year. And then um, there's like a 100 page in the very back of the book that I plan on writing down my books since I just hit 100 books this year. So I'm hoping to hit 100 again next year. Although I did only write in my goals that I wanted to do um, <laughs> 72, just so that I wasn't pressured to do that, because <laughs> last year my goal was 52. Um, as you can see, I've already filled in my December monthly page here. I just kind of did like a quick page of journaling prompts for each day of the month. And I just did like one word answers. Um, I just thought that was a cute way to use this November, December, since I wasn't, I wanted to finish my reading journal in the book that I'm in and kind of just start this one off for the next session. So it's kind of like a little preemptive journaling. And now I'm going to be putting in these tabs. I did see this trick from Helen um, at Coffee Monsters Co. that she uh, places the tabs only one side up as she's uh, putting them in side by side so they can be moved without a lot of trouble. And so that is what we're going to try to do here. I believe it was Helen. I have watched a couple of tab videos because I am really not good at this yet. I'm learning, <laughs> but I have never done it before. As this is my first time journaling, like ever, since I've, um, I mean, I've done some creative writing in high school and college, but nothing like a daily practice and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is to kind of enhance creativity and creative mind flow so I have um, I went online and I found a ton of journaling prompts way too many and I just picked enough for 
I picked 60 days, which is actually the equivalent of January and February this year, since um, February is a leap year. And so I figured I would throw them into a file and share them with you. Um, I picked stuff that was like thought provoking, but still joyful and kind of sparked fun memories and happy thoughts. Um, and I thought that that would be a good little intro to journaling for me. If you would like to join me on my journaling journey, <laughs> you can click that link in the description box below and download your own set of 60 journaling prompts. Um, uh oh, these two are backwards. I just noticed that all the other ones have the uh, little face sticking out and it would be easier to just flip the two that have the word sticking out instead of all the other 10 that have the face sticking out. So I'm going to do that. We're just going to look at emojis this time. <laughs> um, so let me just close these up now. Make sure that I don't have two pages in each. That's kind of what I'm doing with my left hand here is making sure that I don't have two pages before I close it up. I've heard that that's happened to a few people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Julie from Julie's Plan said something about that in one of her videos. Um, and then for this, this is the weekly planner and I only have weekly left over here. So I don't know if I'm going to use that tab for weekly since it's basically all the pages. <laughs> but I'm going to use this notes one on the main planner. I'm just going to put it on these pages here with all the random red dots. It's the only thing I don't understand about this uh, planner is the red dock grid in the very back, but it's okay. I will figure out how to use it without getting a little crazy. <laughs> okay, I really like how this is turning out. It's so fun. Um, next, I wanted to work on my little my little weekly supplement. Um, it says 2024 on it, so I picked this sticker from the Happy Planner ticker book. It says enjoy every moment, and I thought that, that was appropriate for the year. Now this is not something that I plan on using every single day because it is an additional weekly planner that's kind of set up the same as my vertical priorities on the insides, but it's a lot smaller. So I thought that I would just keep it handy in case I needed it when I am traveling to have like a weekly view, but I can have like an abbreviated weekly view with me and um, also have some extra notes pages here and there. Um, this last sticker I'm gonna put on here is just from a pack I bought on Amazon. It was just like a super cheap pack. My daughter needed some stickers for her water bottle and so I grabbed the quickest easiest solution and there was tons and tons of stickers and I saw this one and it reminded me of my tattoo <laughs> my poppies that I drew a long time ago of um, they're like watercolor poppies I just thought by putting that sticker on here it would just make me happy and nostalgic all the things so anyways, I'm gonna figure out how to put this in here. I don't know if I should tuck it in the right way or just the front flap. Um, if I do the front flap, then all I see is the poppies, which is super cute. And then I'll tuck the back flap in here. Yeah, I like how that looks. Um, although I'm not planning to use the weekly very often. So another thing is, is I probably won't be sharing this very much on my channel because it will be personal experiences that I'm writing about um, but if there is something that's uh, worth sharing and that is not too personal I will be sharing it over on my Instagram page so follow me over there and I'll be posting it every once in a while to show kind of some progress in here um, I just put my Animal Crossing pencil board in so that I have it handy and um, I think I think I'm just gonna put these little ribbons down for right now. Um, the pens that I plan on using with this, uh, I did try a few of them in my last video. I can link that, the video that I uh, received all of these items in my Jet Pens order. Uh, and so I tried it in the Hobonichi Weekly su Supplement and just to see what worked best on the Tomoe River. And I found that this Pentel, it's kind of like the Furunosuke, it's like a Pentel brush pen, dual brush 
two sides and then my friction pen worked really good so I'm gonna make those my first pens that I'm gonna be taking with me and okay I have to say these pen loops are giant so I'm not really sure if that's how I'm going to store my pens along the way but we will see right anyways thank you so much for planning with me today and setting up my journal I'm really excited to start a journaling practice in 2024 if you are also starting a journaling practice in 2024, be sure to leave me a note below so that I can cheer you on along the way. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I do share planning content on my channel two times a week, sometimes three, and um, I'd just love to have you here. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and have a great one.